Hi there, welcome to this Java tutorial from d2s.com. In this tutorial, let's look at an important collection called hash set. So we look at what is hash set and what are the different uh, important things that you need to remember about a hash set. So uh, hash set is a collection. So that's basically the interface, basic interface that uh, all most of the collection or uh, like classes implement. Uh, it's a collection. Uh, the collection gives uh, basic methods which are uh, needed for the hash because it implements the collection. A hash set gets a few basic methods from the collection. Uh, a collection is usually used to store a group of values. So I can add a value, remove a value, add a list of values, remove a list of values and those kind of stuff. And you can check if it's empty, You uh, like you can do a clear to remove everything. So this is basically a collection. The set collection extends the collection interface. So the set interface extends the collection interface. And but you would see no new methods in the set interface. The reason is because the set interface, the only the biggest difference between a set interface and a collection interface is a set interface only stores unique values. So a set interface only stores unique values it doesn't allow for duplication that's the most important difference and hash set is the basic implementation of this set interface so a hash set implements an unordered and unsorted so unordered unsorted we mean the values are not stored in the order they are inserted so they might be stored in some random random order and also they are not stored in a sorted order so if i insert one first ten next and 5 next, it, it, there is no guarantee that it would store 5 between 1 and 10. So that's basically what a hash set is. Hash set is a uh, unordered and unsorted implementation of the set interface. Let's l just quickly look at an implementation of a hash, hash set. So I'm using, uh, this is how we can create a new hash set. So I'm doing a hash set using a string. So uh, in this set, I'm going to store string values. That's why I'm saying new hash set or string. I'm creating a new hash set of string and storing it in the set interface. The reason why I'm using a set interface and not the hash set is because then I can change it from hash set to any other uh, uh, thing easily. So without changing the rest of the code. So the, I can change the implementation without changing the, uh, I mean, with just changing the class because the rest of the interface remains the same. So uh, the hash set allows you to add values. So I'm hash set dot add Sachin. So when you print the Sachin, it prints Sachin. Next, I'm adding Dravid, hash set, Sachin, comma, Dravid. Uh, I'm trying to add a duplicate value, which is Sachin. And you'd see that this method actually returns a value false because it's trying to add a duplicate. So if I'm adding Sachin, this method returns a value false. And if I print the hash set after that, it would show Sachin and Dravid only. It doesn't show Sachin twice. That is the bi biggest difference between a set and a list. In a set, we don't allow duplicates. So if the same value is inserted again, then the set does not insert it into the list. So that's basically a very high level overview about a hash set. Hash set is basically a very, very simple implementation of the set interface. It contains the basic methods to add, remove, and do stuff on the uh, collections. If you want to look at all the other collection interface methods, you can look at other tutorials in our channel. Until next time, bye. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.